on the Free Ride World Tour Journal. The Chamonix event is over, two stops in. It was a beautiful day here and some amazing runs were put down. I'm here with Judge Hugo Harrison to have a bit of a debrief and find out what his perspective was. Hugo, so what were the, some of the runs that really stood out for you today and why? Well, there was a few runs that was really good uh, for the woman with Jackie Peso. She had a, a big air that a lot, of, a lot of guys had trouble with. So uh, it was uh, no doubt it was first place. So good for the girl and it was also a, lots of good run with the snowboarder the guy got in first place had a, a nice triple which for us uh, triples usually pretty hard to do and uh, that's why he scored so well <laughs> what is it about her run that stood out Shannon has a style that's super super solid and uh, she's very fluid she never stops much in her run so for us uh, it's definitely a big factor uh, to see someone that can be solid top to bottom and stay fluid. I can't really see where he's going, but I guess he's choosing a really good line, and I guess it's all about the landings now. Dritter moment. So Hugo, what were some of the elements that you were looking for that scored highly today? Well, for us, uh, we need a run that has everything in it. Uh, for sure, air and style is a big part. That's kind of why Lewick took it. He showed us a uh, big 360. It was actually very big. So uh, yeah, he took it uh, by far. It was the best run. <laughs> so I guess I'm in fourth position now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we also had a very good run in third place. Uh, he had a little issue with the back step at the top, which maybe cost him the second position. But uh, it was one of the most creative lines of the day. He had a very unique way to, to ski a line and uh, came out super fast. It was a bit of a triple in a very big phase, so uh, that added up a lot of points for him. Oh, that's great, because when he got down to the bottom, he seemed a bit deflated, but he must have just not done a perfect run in his head. Yeah, every rider always uh, think that as soon as they do a mistake, they, their run is over. But uh, yeah, it's not over until you're at the bottom. You know, even if you do a small mistake at the top, you can always uh, gain those points back with the, uh, the other criteria. And uh, that's what happened with him. Since I've played the story after 2,50 meters, it had to be able to climb up a little bit. Otherwise, they would all be treated as retraités. An example of someone who may have thought they'd scored higher than they thought. A guy like Kevin Gurry today ski like so well, you know, he's a guy that could be first in any event and then today was the perfect example. Uh, he skied perfectly fluid all the way to the bottom and had only one big feature. So uh, it's very hard for, for us to reward just one feature. It, it's always uh, top to bottom, you need a lot of feature into it, so it, this way you can build your score up and uh, that's what happened with this run. Yeah, these little things are fun, huh? Yeah, but I was trying two tricks on it. Oh, no, I did my chicken. You what? I did a chicken. You did a chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Matilda, no more punches, leave her alone. She came first, get over it. Okay, so that was a bit of a judge's debrief there. Gives you an idea of how they were scoring today. See you tomorrow for the Chamonix highlights. Bye.